Have you ever wondered why, despite countless blessings, you still feel a sense of emptiness? This question has troubled many of us. In a world so abundant, why do we often feel a void, a nagging dissatisfaction that refuses to dissipate? We're living in a time of unprecedented prosperity where blessings are showered upon us in heaps and bounds. Yet it's not uncommon to hear people questioning their existence, their worth. They find themselves in the throes of despair, blaming the universe for their unhappiness. Why? Because we've misunderstood the concept of happiness. We've been led to believe that happiness is a destination, a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. We're constantly chasing after it, hoping to find it in the next job, the next relationship, the next purchase. We've reduced happiness to a materialistic pursuit, a tangible reward to be claimed. But what if we've been looking in the wrong place? What if happiness isn't about possessing, but about being? What if it's not about reaching a destination, but about enjoying the journey? This is where many of us falter. We focus so much on the trivial matters that we lose sight of the bigger picture. We obsess over fleeting pleasures, forgetting that true happiness stems from a sense of purpose. When we lack direction, even the most mundane matters seem monumental. And when they inevitably fade away, we're left feeling empty, directionless. Yet, there's a secret to happiness, one that's been beautifully elucidated in the Quran. Interestingly, the Quran doesn't directly speak of happiness. Instead, it emphasizes having a goal, a purpose. Because when you live with purpose, happiness naturally follows. It's the journey, the pursuit of a meaningful goal that brings true joy. So let's shift our perspective. Let's stop chasing after happiness and instead seek purpose. Let's stop blaming the universe for our unhappiness and instead take responsibility for our own fulfillment. But what if the key to happiness lies not in what we have, but in our purpose? Let's explore this further in the next scene. Interestingly, the Quran doesn't directly speak of happiness. Instead, it emphasizes having a goal. This may seem counterintuitive in a world where the pursuit of happiness is often seen as the ultimate purpose. But let's delve a little deeper. Picture happiness as a butterfly. The more you chase it, the more elusive it becomes. But when you turn your attention to other things, it quietly comes and sits on your shoulder. The Quran, in its infinite wisdom, understands this paradox. It encourages us to focus on our purpose, our goals, and our duties rather than obsess over happiness itself. What's more, the Quran's approach to fulfillment is tailored to our individuality. It recognizes that we are not all cut from the same cloth. What brings joy to one person might not do the same for another, so it refrains from prescribing a one-size-fits-all path to fulfillment. Instead, it offers guidance, nudging us gently towards self-discovery and personal growth. The Quran echoes the belief that when we strive for something bigger than ourselves, we find meaning and satisfaction. This could be a personal ambition, a quest for knowledge or service to others. Whatever form it takes, this purposeful striving is what leads to fulfillment. Moreover, the Quran reminds us that life is not just about the destination but also about the journey. It's about the small victories, the lessons learned, the relationships forged, and the person we become along the way. It's about living each moment with mindfulness and gratitude, embracing both the joys and the challenges life brings. In essence, the Quran's approach to fulfillment is holistic. It doesn't promise instant gratification or easy solutions. Instead, it offers a roadmap to self-realization, encouraging us to lead a balanced life grounded in faith, purpose, and compassion. So, instead of asking, how can I be happy? Perhaps we should be asking, what is my purpose? Because when you live with purpose, happiness naturally follows. You may feel misunderstood by those around you, but remember, Allah understands you perfectly. Each of us has unique experiences, thoughts, and feelings, making us distinct individuals. And it's precisely this individuality that the Quran addresses. It serves as our personal guide, speaking to every aspect of our being. The Quran, unlike other religious texts, doesn't offer a one-size-fits-all approach. Instead, it provides a flexible framework for living, accommodating our unique circumstances and personal growth. 
It recognizes our human potential and offers guidance to help us reach it. Yet, in our quest for answers, we often overlook this profound guidance, seeking personalized solutions instead. We expect divine revelations tailored to our whims and fancies, forgetting that the Quran already encompasses all aspects of our lives. This mentality is a reflection of our times, where we've come to rely heavily on search engines for answers. We type in our questions, expecting immediate, personalized responses. But just as we wouldn't reduce a wise mentor to a mere database, we shouldn't reduce the Quran to one either. The Quran isn't a spiritual Google, offering quick fixes to our problems. It's not an encyclopedia where we can look up answers to every question. Instead, it's a divine dialogue, a conversation with Allah Himself. It's a guidebook that helps us navigate through life's complexities, offering wisdom, solace, and guidance. The Quran encourages us to reflect, to ponder, and to engage with its teachings. It invites us to seek knowledge, to question, and to strive for understanding. It's not merely about finding answers, it's about embarking on a journey of self-discovery and spiritual growth. So let's change our approach. Let's stop treating the Quran as a mere database and start engaging with it as a divine dialogue. Let's seek its wisdom, reflect on its teachings, and let it guide us through our unique life journeys. We've reduced the Quran to a mere database, seeking answers to every question. But the Quran isn't Google, it's a divine dialogue. Allah created us with immense potential, yet He knows our weaknesses. This divine understanding is beautifully illustrated in the Quran, which serves as our guiding light in times of darkness. Much like a lighthouse in a storm, the Quran illuminates our path, helping us steer clear of the jagged rocks of despair and hopelessness. Life, as we know, is not a bed of roses. It is a complex journey filled with hills and valleys, twists and turns. And in this journey, we are bound to encounter challenges that test our mettle, that push us to our limits. But these challenges are not meant to break us. Instead, they are opportunities for growth, for self-discovery. The Quran, with its profound wisdom, helps us understand this perspective. It equips us with the necessary tools to navigate these challenges. It reminds us that every difficulty we face is a trial designed to strengthen us, not weaken us. It teaches us that every hardship is followed by ease, an assurance that gives us the strength to endure and persevere. But how does the Quran guide us through these challenges? It does so by providing us with timeless principles that apply to every aspect of our lives. From maintaining patience and gratitude during tough times to emphasizing the importance of prayer and trust in Allah's plan, the Quran offers a comprehensive guide to handling life's difficulties. Moreover, the Quran encourages us to reflect, to ponder upon its verses. This reflection is not just a passive reading, but an active engagement with the text. It stimulates our minds, prompting us to seek answers, to question, and to understand. This active engagement with the Quran helps us derive personal insights, enabling us to apply its teachings to our unique circumstances. And so, the Quran is not just a book. It is a lifelong companion a roadmap that guides us through life's trials and tribulations. It serves as our beacon of light in the darkest of times, providing solace, comfort, and guidance. It's a roadmap to navigate life's challenges, offering solace and guidance. So, dear friends, if you found this video insightful, isn't it fascinating how the Quran, a book penned over a thousand years ago, resonates so deeply with our modern lives? It's not just a book, but a guide, a mentor, and a friend. It understands our struggles, validates our emotions, and shows the way forward when we're lost. It's a beacon of light that shines through our darkest days, offering solace and guidance. But too often we overlook this treasure trove of wisdom. We search high and low for answers when all along they've been waiting for us, nestled within the pages of the Quran. It's high time we dust off our copies and delve into its profound depths. If this video has sparked a curiosity within you, if it has made you see the Quran in a new light, then we've achieved our goal. But this is just the start. The Quran is a vast ocean of knowledge, and we've barely dipped our toes in. There's so much more to explore, so many more gems to uncover, and that's where you come in. 
We're on a mission to spread the wisdom of the Quran far and wide. But we can't do it alone. We need your help. If this video has touched you in any way, we ask you to do three things. First, like this video. It's a small action, but it helps us reach more people. Second, subscribe to our channel. By doing so, you'll be the first to know when we release new videos. You'll be joining a community of seekers, all on a journey to understand the Quran better. And lastly, share this video with your loved ones. Pass on the wisdom. You never know whose life you might touch, whose heart you might reach. Let's spread the wisdom of the Quran together, like subscribe and share it with your loved ones.